Here's another Eclipse card that's interactive. And I'll show you how to make this coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. So if you've uh, watched any of my videos, you know that I make bag tags for my child's lunch bag. And um, he's, he's seven going on eight, so he's really excited about science, especially um, cosmic science, astronomy, and so forth. So he, he wanted an eclipse bag tag. He would rather have <laughs> an interactive bag tag, but uh, it, didn't, it didn't work out that way. In any case, this is three different styles, and um, I just wanted to show you before we got started with the video how they all look different. And uh, so it's, it's a fun project. It's got limited, limited appeal, I know, because it's, you know, it's the eclipse and who wants an eclipse card? Um, but if you think about it, I mean, science geeks or science teachers or it doesn't really have to even revolve around the eclipse. It could, you know, it could be a birthday card if somebody has a birthday on the eclipse or, or just a generic card. So anyway, just, just showing you different opportunities here. So let's get started. So I made this card um, on Sunday. And my husband said, gee, why don't you make an interactive one where the moon actually makes an eclipse? So I said, sure, why not? Um, but that I didn't want to, you know, darken the earth. So that's fine. So here I have started to make the card. And I've got everything is the same, basically, in terms of the background and the moon. But for the sun, I don't really want, I don't want to make the sun with these know, whatever, whatever you call these. I don't know what you call them. Well, uh, the spiky things. Because, you know, the, the sun doesn't really look like that. I mean, I've never seen the sun look like that. So, I am going to, I've taken a die that's a little bit bigger than the moon, which is the same size as the sun. And I'm just going to run a white just a white copy, just to be a glow behind the moon. So I'll cut this out and be right back. Okay, here's my glow. So if you ever see any NASA photos, you'll see that they'll portray an eclipse with just a white glow behind the moon. Something like that. Real or not, that's uh, what I'm gonna use. Is it real? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I've got my glasses. If I have a clear day here in Boston, maybe I'll be able to see. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this down and be right back. One thing I wanna point out is that it would have been better for me to recess the sun inside the glow, the white, the white glow, because I don't know if you can, whoops, I don't know if you can see, but there's this thickness, this depth, and it creates kind of a stumbling block for the moon to um, get over that. Um, so, it just would flow smoother if I had recessed it into the glow. Okay, I have finished my card. I put the sentiment on. 
a heat embossed with some wow super fine white powder and it works perfectly whoops let me get that out of the way <laughs> i didn't put a sentiment on the inside i wanted to leave this one blank because this one is going to go to my son's science teacher and i'm going to put a personal note in there so anyway i hope you like this eclipse card for the total eclipse of 2024 and if you did please leave us a thumbs up thank you for watching